previously on the season. Tomorrow it's really important we control our emotion throughout the day, okay? Mum and Dad are down. If you need to go somewhere now. Nice scrum. Yes! It's been lost forward on the ground. There's 30 seconds left. I remember patting everyone in the scrum on the back as hard as I could, saying, we need to win this scrum. I knew it wasn't the end because anything can happen at rugby. Two minutes to go. Two to go. A building pressure. Pressure. That's it. That's it. Pressure. Let's go. Let's go, Howie. One half, getting Howarth, Howarth, Howarth with the right footstep, Howarth, he's hard to put down this afternoon. Oh, he's fighting for every metre. It's been lost forward on the ground. It's been lost forward on the ground, there's 30 seconds left. I, I was about to pick the ball up and we were about to go wide to Connor, who was going to spin it wide, but I'm pretty sure they tried to do the gibbo when they put the ball down, release it and get back up and go a bit further forward. I think it was that, or maybe, actually I haven't even brought myself to watch the game yet. Small knock on by the scrum half, I think it was. My whole family was watching, and so they only heard what the commentator said. A bit annoying, but at least I know what I've done. They've just got to kick this out, I think. They've just got to kick this out. They've got a pressure. I was thinking, if we are able to push over this scrum, even though TSS have an insanely strong scrum, we could still win the game. Scrum in, fed well, ball goes back. Can't do that. But the referee says no, that's it. You can't throw it out, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. I looked up and I saw the pass go out on the full and I just looked straight at the ref because I thought that's our ball, should be a penalty. I thought, are they gonna get a drop out or are we gonna get a five metre scrum? This cannot be the end of the game, surely not. I just, I just didn't believe it. Yeah, I reckon it was deliberate, I reckon it was planned that way. He is a very good nine and he did throw that ball pretty high. It's impossible for the referee to, to award that and make a, an assumption that he intentionally threw it out. You know, it's the, it's the worst pass he'll ever throw in his life. That sport, we, we lost it you know, before that moment. It wasn't deliberate, it was a pass to it. It wasn't intentional, don't be silly. All right, come in boys, come in. Heads up, heads come in, come in. I, I was heartbroken. Like, I, I think I cried probably for the for five hours after the game, like I was just, I couldn't put any words to it. My first feeling was disbelief, I guess. Um, I couldn't quite believe that we had actually lost it. For something we worked so hard for the whole year, um, and then to just miss out, especially on Old Boys Day in a, in a crowd that, uh, that big, uh, was just pure disbelief. We worked so hard and I thought we genuinely did it. I thought that was our game and then I cried like straight away. Come here. Come here. Oi, stop, 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 oi. Oi, stop, stop. Oi, it's all right. Hey. And then I looked around and I saw everyone else crying to see them all hurt, hurt me. And there were younger kids that were crying and coming up to me and patting me on the back. And that just shows like how much it means to them as well, just as much as it means to us. You win some, you lose some. Okay, mate. You're a winner today, don't worry about the scoreboard, mate. It was pretty hard, especially seeing the boys lose that day. It, it was pretty challenging, knowing I could have been out there hopefully making, a, making an impact. Well, I felt bad for the, for the players, most of all, and the school, because this was our time. But in saying that, I felt like there was a huge lesson to be learned. Disappointed is probably an understatement. As at first 15, the boys put a lot of pressure on themselves. As, a lot of hype around it, there was a huge crowd, but at the end of the day it was it was just a game. You know, I was and still am incredibly proud of what the boys achieved. Boys, I know we're hurting. No performance, okay, is the best performance I've seen from a schoolboy side. Okay, what we've achieved this year so far, you can see by the support here how much it means to you boys. So let's stay strong for each other, okay? I know we're hurting. Stay strong, boys. At the end of the day, I mean, you, what you've got are uh, 15 wonderful schoolboys playing for you. And so you put it into that context that they are schoolboys. That's the fifth year of their rugby experience and the, the intensity of that game for many of those players it was their first, first exposure to that level of pressure. We will learn more from this loss uh, than we probably would have if we had won the game. And it'll make them uh, better for it, uh, whether that's in their footy career beyond this point or, or just in life in general. 
You good? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I know. Keep the boys tight, okay? Yeah. Quick march. Hello. Hello, how are you going? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Have you got some washing? Of course. Wouldn't be me without the laundry. Okay, chuck it over there. Yeah. You gonna do that before you do some work? Work. <laughs> work? You gotta get something done before the game. I'll get something done. I don't know what yet. For Will Stevens, every day that passes is a reminder that his time at high school is almost over. And with so much on his term three schedule, that time will seem to pass by only too quickly. Um, lasagna or sushi? Do you want sushi? Juggling with the exams these next few weeks will probably be a bit more difficult with all the revision, the training, the gym, the games even. So I think it's just going to have to be compromise. Are you having lunch or? Yeah, I'll have a bit. My sushi or get your own? We will share. Oh. Will is a take it as I am type of person. He's loud and energetic and people either love him or hate him and there's not usually anything in between. Are we wearing our hat all day? <laughs> yeah, yeah we are. Like you, can, you can examine it. Do you want the hat on or off? <laughs> I don't care. There you go. Um, he drives me crazy every day but I wouldn't change him for the world. I think I am looking forward to another inspirational message and you've been sending your lengthy paragraphs since but Will, you need me. <laughs> oh, I need you, Mum. Oh, what's this? Oh, no, no. Oh, here we go. I don't know. I, I haven't even read this one. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, morning. Good luck today. Play hard, play well and play fair. Keep looking to find a way. Maybe even get a haircut. <laughs> That's the impact. That, that didn't happen. <laughs> Definitely didn't happen. It's been a, a growth. Like, it's been definite growth. Um, and his confidence is... Um, lifted a lot. So yeah, it's been a good thing. It was very difficult, the TSS loss. I think that was something that as a parent watching them, you didn't know what more you could have done to help protect them. Are you proud of yourselves with how you've gone? This mm. Well, from where we came in the, in the pre-season, we were all fighting at that first rugby camp. Mm when the group was split up into two, two mm. main groups. From there to where we are now is ridiculous. The 26 other boys in the squad and becoming so close with them over the pre-season and season has been awesome. Um, we've had our ups, we've had our downs, like it's life, you lose and you win. Hey Will, how are you? Yeah, not bad, Dad, yourself? I'm good. You got some lots of study done? I got some done this morning. I woke up, yeah, did my PE. Yeah, I'm off to training now. Oh, cool. How's the team looking? Yeah, I think there's no injuries. I think Jack Boyer was um, at home, but he should be yeah. back now. Also, Potsy told me that I made the under-18s Queensland white team. Oh, that's great. Yeah, See all that hard work. Oh, a, mate, that's awesome. That. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. All right, well, I'll let you get back to work now. Okay, mate. And Thanks for ringing. We'll talk all good. Soon. Sounds good, Dad. Okay, bye. See ya. Bye. With barely enough time to debrief round six, round seven takes the team to Toowoomba to see if the squad can refocus and maintain form in order to remain in premiership contention.
the season is coming to its inevitable conclusion, and for injured year 11 Jack Briskin, it has hardly even begun, with an injury in pre-season, meaning a year of rehabilitation. I just did a normal tackle, I got up and then I felt a sharp pain in my shoulder and it just felt dead. I just thought I corked it and I've never had a shoulder injury before. So yeah, I found I got a labrum tear. That normally was, that was my season. I had an appointment with, my, with a surgeon and yeah, he recommends that if I was to play rugby again, I'd have to get the surgery. I'll only be out for about half a year, so it's nothing, nothing I haven't done before, so that's the way I think of it. Get it over with, um, get through the rehab, just get strong, get ready for the next season. Before injuring his shoulder, Briskin had only just returned from a previous season-long injury. I'm still coming back from rehab and um, doing with my injury, so I'm feeling okay. Oh, I've just had um, surgery, uh, knee dislocation with my knee, and um, I've been up for two years now, so oh, I just gotta keep grinding and uh, making sure that I improve each week, so that's all I can do. Two more now, yeah. Four. Five, let's go, get six, get, get six, let's go. Let's go again. Go again, go again, let's go, seven. Push, 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 push. push. <laughs> Nothing tests an athlete's resolve more than long-term injury, but with the right support, Briskin has been able to take the right steps to full recovery. I talked to my surgeon yesterday, and uh, they're happy to um, do the surgery whenever. It's just if I get it earlier, it's just more time to get ready for next season. So yeah, I got build up more muscle, so they could do it this Monday. Next Monday, as in like yeah. three days. Yeah, like three days or more. What's the um, the timeline in terms of recovery once like once surgery is done? How? I'll be in the sling for like six to eight weeks. Okay. And then four to six months recovery. Four to six months, okay. So. Your legs will be strong after the being in the sling for six weeks, leg day. What are you looking to um, have afterwards? Oh, just anything. <laughs> anything <laughs> hot. Hot food. Hottest thing for a while. <laughs> Can't imagine. Anything yeah. you're reading in particular? Oh, just some motivating quotes. Yeah. He'll always be there for you. Yeah, he's got me. And you've never thought about becoming like a physio or a, or like a health professional? <laughs> to treat myself? <laughs> yeah, to treat yourself. <laughs> Maybe. It'll, it'll cut out lots of the costs. <laughs> yeah, I might as well. Surgery day, gonna get a arthroscope. Oh, surgery done to my right shoulder. I'm just a little bit nervous, but I'm all fussed about eating. Kinda hungry, so. Yeah, I've been fasting for half a day. The inconvenience of being sidelined does provide Briskin with some positive opportunities in other areas of school life. I try to pay a bit more attention to my um, studies because I have time for it. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Hey, how are you? How are you going? Good. How are you feeling? Not bad. Okay, so the purpose um, of today is to make your shoulder nice and stable. It's yeah. been seven weeks now, finally having it done. Yeah. Have you got anything you want to ask me? No, I'm good. I'm ready. Okay, so it's going to be keyhole, three small holes. Yep. You're going to go home later on. Yep. Yeah. And then you've got six weeks in the sling. Okay. Yeah, cool. And then your rehab starts properly after that. All good to go. Yep. Fantastic. Okay, well, I'll see the inside of you yep. and uh, we'll let you go home later on. Well, there's a common injury uh, where you dislocate the shoulder out the front. And what Jack's done is uh, he's uh, shaved off um, the stabilizing. Uh, part of the socket, which is uh, called a labral tear. And what we're going to do today is do an arthroscopic reconstruction of that labrum and reattach it, and that's going to hopefully make his shoulder stable again. I've only had toast today because I missed. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so I, I, yeah, I missed breakfast and I missed morning tea. Oh, no. Yeah, so I'm starving. So we're in a similar Second boat. Day. The round eight clash against Nudgy College has long been marked in the calendar as a premiership deciding game. And mathematically, both teams could still win the title. Go! 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 They are the pinnacle rugby school in Australia and not too many teams have beaten them on Ross. Play it down there, down there! From my experience playing Nudgy last year and now this year, they're very big boys, very strong runners. <laughs> well then. Probably the crowds they, they bring to Ross. Very loud very intimidating. I told the boys that if we win, beat them on Ross, right. it'd be the best feeling ever. Ball in. I don't think we need any motivation for us and Nudgy. 
Okay, it's a good way to measure ourselves as a team and as individuals. Okay, they'll be looking to do the same. As a team, we want to finish strong. Hands in. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, four. Today is our long lunch. It started about four to five years ago as a solely old boys event. It's part of the old collegians uh, push to integrate ourselves more fully into the life of the school. We're very excited about the fact that we've got about 30 dads along today. It's an interesting experience being an old collegian and seeing a, a current member of the school because what people see is a, is a boy I see a future brother. He'll be a member for life. What we're hoping to do is open up that experience to the broader BBC community. And old collegian table talk never strays too far from the GPS rugby conversation. The GPS, I think, is the pinnacle of rugby. I prefer to watch that than I'd watch the uh, Wallabies at the moment. It's done at a fast pace. The boys are highly athletic. The emphasis is on scoring tries. Uh, they move the ball. It's just exciting to watch. Look, GPS rugby brings together so many different guys playing against other schools, and these, these mates that they make at BBC and other schools will be with the guys for, forever. Oh, it's tribal. You're doing it for your mates, you're doing it for your school. There's probably not a lot of opportunity for young men to be involved in something as intense and, and, and as focused as GPS rugby. You know, spent two years in the first and probably the best sort of rugby playing years of your life even when you leave school and then go into a club. You've certainly developed some bonds and friendships and yeah some lifelong memories. It's been a great season so far you know we've got some pretty strong age groups through the through the school. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how we end up at the end of the uh, end of the season. Obviously Nudgee's a, a great school with support and rugby. Ross Oval's pretty famous for, for how loud it is and what Nudgee bring to it. I know it's a big part of their culture. The success of the BBC First 15 this year has inspired the next generation of players who try to emulate their senior heroes in the earlier games of the day. Rocking up to Nudgee was probably enough motivation. You walk in, you see all their fans, you see the big grandstand full of Nudgee boys. What I reckon helped us get motivated was we didn't win against TSS, but we're not going to be the best team if we don't win against Nudgee. What our focus was, was about being the first team to win on Ross Oval in however many years, I think it was 37 years, to beat arguably one of the best rugby schools in Australia and, you know, to make sure the boys finish their last big game really well. It's got to work hard for each other on the inside. If they step back in, bang, we whack them. Just Mason for messages, but do we have someone else fit to run? We still believe that we were the best team in the comp, and we just had a, a point to prove. Big effort, mate. And all day, just hound, buddy, raise your arm. Okay, on him, on him, on him. Don't give him an inch. Wally, rip in, mate. Okay. okay, big occasion here today. Have a look at the jersey, guys. Have a look at the number, 2019. Okay, it's only ever one jersey printed like this. Okay, it's your year, your occasion, okay? Best team ever, do it for each other. Just really rip into these blokes, tear the heart out of them. Good warm up, good week. Let's make it count next 70. The boys had a reasonable preparation in that week. They knew what it was all about, that this was an opportunity. And, and by that stage, uh, you know, we're still in the hunt with the Premiership. We could only control what we could control. I knew that Ipswich, the TSS's bogey team, uh, they were playing them uh, on the same day. So I knew there was still a chance, but you know, we, we didn't really focus on that. The format of the GPS means that the winner of today's game could share the title but only if Southport lose to Ipswich Grammar, the game being played on the Gold Coast at the same time. Sheer, 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 sheer off, sheer off, sheer off, sheer off, sheer off. That's it, that's it, that's it. Keep it on, Steve-O. He's collapsing!
multi-phase before we kick because of the wind. Yeah, all he says we want to play multi-phases before we want to kick. Boys, let's look to play off this kick-off. We don't want to kick from deep, so let's play a bit. Perfect. Ice cold, baby. That's it. BBC are in the lead. Seven points to nil. Shot, bro. Well, well, well done. Well done. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Henry. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh. 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 Just got to go yeah, through the hand. Oh, smokes! Wow! Good hit, Howard! What a hit. Jesus. Great hit! Great hit! 7 5 to hit switch. Don't really want to think about that game. Now go, now go, now go. Mason, we've got to run with more intensity heads through up, that middle up. part of the field. You both. Hold forward, back to go, more intent. More intent. If you got if you're gonna run, you gotta hit him. BBC teams of the past have tried and failed, but this has no bearing on the present. The visitors are in front, but Ross Oval won't make this an easy journey. next time on the season. It has changed my life. Overall makes me feel like I'm contributing to the community. Pound it, pound it, there you go. Those boys are going to have a fantastic memory of training with the first 15. He's going to yellow card it. No, that's right, that's nothing you can do. He did everything to get out of the way. Go! Big offload! Oh! Zach off! For more information on Brisbane Boys College, go to bbc.qld.edu.au.